Pre construction prices prime to skyrocket again? Stay tuned to this episode of Prime Properties TV. I promise you it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Properties TV. So glad you're joining us here. We're in the midst of spring market, and I've noticed even real estate reporters are picking up momentum with the number of articles being written right now. So maybe during the spring market, they actually get busier like realtors too. Huh, interesting thought, right? Anyways, in this week's episode, I wanna go over something that got quietly swept under the rug and almost nobody is actually reporting it. So maybe they didn't actually do that much work. This is pre-construction prices are going to see an increase soon, but in a different way from the usual debate of lack of supply and demand. Now, I reported this on my weekly newsletter a few weeks ago, so if you want the most up-to-date news, make sure you subscribe to that and I'll leave a link to that subscription in the description below. So the prices actually increase are going to be caused by the city of Toronto, which ultimately left, left me with raised eyebrows like, huh? Seriously, this makes no sense. What most people don't talk about is the cost to develop such huge condo towers. Everybody thinks that the builders are charging more strictly due to demand because they can, while there is some truth to that, to the increasing prices because the demand is high, there's also reasoning such as increasing construction costs and development costs that result in higher prices. It's kind of like the recent minimum wage increase. I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed all my favorite restaurants have increased the prices on their menu. I remember once a child I could get a large bowl of pho, which is a Vietnamese beef noodle soup for around $5. This year officially surpassed the double digit mark. Now the cost to create this delicious bowl of soup is $10. It's crazy. Now this exact phenomenon is happening in the pre-construction world just as well. The most recent increase from the city of Toronto has doubled the development charges effective February 1st, 2018. Now nobody talks about this but the, in the headlines, but it'll trickle down to me and you, the end user. Like even though I have no association in the creation of my bowl of soup, but as an end consumer, the person that's going to be eating it, I will be paying for it. This is exactly the same with these new development charges. Here, have a look at the development charge increase yourself. You can see here on your right hand side that all the development charges have effectively doubled, if not more. I think an appropriate response would be, hmm. As of right now, the standard development charges when you close a pre-construction condo is usually capped around $8,500 to $10,000 for a one bedroom or about $10,000 to $15,000 for a two bedroom or greater. Now, the developer will be responsible for anything over these amounts that are capped, which is charged by the city of Toronto. Effectively, with the new development Toronto bylaws, somebody, and by somebody, I mean us, the end users, will be paying for this. I can see this happening in two ways. One. The cap development fees will be higher in accordance with the higher amounts that the city is levy levying on us now. Or two, the price per square foot will go up and it will be blended in inconspicuously. Now, something has to account for this tax stream of tax revenue the city is looking to collect and it could be blended into the higher cap or the price per square foot. Really, we have no idea or it could be a combination of both. Other developers I talked to are still working out the numbers to see how it affects the bottom line with them so I have no real answer for you right now and we'll see just how this unfolds and don't worry I will report it to you. All I know right now is like my bowl of pho, at the end of the day us as end consumers will be the one paying for it. It's unfortunate but it's just the way it is unless someone can convince the city of Toronto to eliminate approximately a new 300 million dollars of annual revenue. Good luck with that when the province is running on the biggest deficit in the world per capita. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something in this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you like the content, subscribe to Prime Props TLO right here. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or contact me directly. It's right here. Until next time, guys, happy real estate. Has increased 